Um, ooh, thank you, Hero of Time, Spider Man Four. Guess what? To, we swiped right. <laughs> Hero of Time, we swiped right because I was actually thinking the same thing. Oh my god! That's Hero hysterical. of Right of Time. You're you're a G, you're a smart fella. You are a smart fella, my friend. Hero of time, I'm giving you a high five through the camera tonight. Good job. I, I, um, we, we swiped right. We okay. You know what, JT? Explain what swipe right means to our f- new friend. So swipe right for those who don't know what we're talking about. Swipe right means that we have the same topic on a different. Well, we have the same topic, but we didn't know it was on each other's list. So uh, here of time. Uh, good job. You have swiped right with Bill. Congratulations. Sorry, JT. Mate. I think it's best we see other people. <laughs> oh, damn it, Bill. All right. Um, Anyways, um, let's talk about Spider-Man 4 for a little bit. We have talked about this a little bit on the Mixed Bag show here. Yeah. But let's talk about it a little bit more. No, I don't think we talked about Spider-Man 4. I mean, we actually have. We, you're right. We haven't. So why don't we talk about. No, 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 no not Spider-Man. No. Let's talk about Spider-Man 4 that never happened. Okay. Well, here's what happened. Um, as we all know, 2007, Spider-Man th- 3 was going to be released. It did come out then. It did get released. And, and we all know how, what happened after that. Um, critics didn't like it, but it was a, it was the highest grossing superhero movie for one year. Because then, some movie, I'm sure you never heard of it. It was some movie called The Dark Knight that came out the next year. Oh, that yeah. Took it over. Heard of it. Oh, I don't think anybody heard of it. You, JT? I mean, I, I, I think I've heard of it. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, me neither. Some, <laughs> some Batman film. Some guy named Heath Ledger was the Joker. Whatever. Batman, whatever. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. But anyway, all joking aside. What happened was they had Spider-Man 4 planned. But um the they were actually gonna have they were actually gonna have Black Cat played by Anne Hathaway. <laughs> and let alone years later, she would probably be in a, a sequel to that movie we never heard of the Dark Knight called The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, yeah, sure. Totally, dude. Totally. And she was going to be Catwoman. Oh, God. Nobody's ever heard of that. But yeah, I just think it's ironic. Yes, we've heard of these folks film. We've heard of these. We've heard of these folks, people, films, people. We've heard, we've of, heard of these films, Bill. Don't worry. <laughs> we're, we're just it's a joke, people. It's a joke. Did, was MJ ever going to play anything or no? Was Kristen Dunst going to play anything? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um. But um, it says right here um, the it says because I've heard from a very very dear friend of mine, our good friend Justin Favaro. Justin, shout out! We love you, buddy. Hope you can come back sometime. Um, because he told me that because from what I'm reading right now from Screen Rant. Props out to Screen Rant, who you've really been helping me with this tonight. Um, They actually um, had, they said right here, there was details weren't widely known. Um, But Justin told me that the the sequel was going to have, whatchamacallit. um, John Malkovich's Vulture. John Malkovich's Vulture, thank you. You're welcome. Um, John Malkovich's pu- Vulture. And Wouldn't they have Mysterio or no? Yeah, they were going to have Mysterio. But what okay. they were going to do is, is that, that they would have years later, um, Peter and MJ were married, but then some, but then they were in the midst of, and they had kids and they were in the midst of getting divorced. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's what, um, that's mm-hmm. what allegedly happened. But wow, what I'm reading here, they had they said there were no really details released. Um, um, Peter would have been grieving the death over what have been grieving Harry's death, 
trying to get his life mm. back on track, trying to reconcile with MJ. Yeah. But they really, yeah, they had Vulture, Black Cat, and Mysterio all, all in it. But, and you know what? Like, here's another thing. And you know what? Here's some of the things I'm got, I'm actually kind of glad this didn't happen. Um, it, If you've seen Spider-Man 2 and 3, and it's mentioned in Spider-Man 1, T, um, Peter's professor is Dr. Kurt Connors. A.K.A. the lizard. Who eventually becomes the lizard. And, you know, I'm sure because they did mention it in that he had some on-campus job with Connors in the first one, but it mentioned, oh, I got fired. Why? Because I was late. And Connor, and anyone who knows the comics, like, ooh, Kurt Connors, the lizard. Yep. And when they showed him in Spider-Man 2, they're thinking, ooh, we're going to have the lizard sooner or later. Okay, because aside from Spider-Man 4, there was a fifth and sixth one being thought of as well. Yeah, they, they, they thought this out, guys. And you know what? Like, here's one of the things, though. The lizard... I think even if they, it sounded like they were going to save him from either five or six. Probably. This is what happens when you save someone too long. Yeah. Because, yeah, you had him mentioned in one, but you also had him shown in two or three. If you keep bringing him back, by the time we get to five, okay, he's the lizard now. You'd be like, okay, what freaking took you so long? Yeah. You know what I mean? What the hell took you so long? To do that. Like we we've seen him for two freaking movies. And I was gonna say if they're gonna go through with it, they should have gone through with it in the fourth. If they were gonna do the fourth, they should have done done lizard then. Yeah. But um yeah, what happened then was and also Vulture, I really don't think it would have went well because here's where I think Sam Raimi's Spider-Man series went wrong. And here's where I think MCU went right. Is because in Sam Raimi's, they did all the heavy hitters in the first ones. They did Green Goblin. They did Doc Ock. Yep. Then they did Venom, Sandman, New Goblin. You did the big ones. And then you had Vulture, which is kind of the more... Like lesser. Ones. Yeah which is kind of the more secondary ones and the ones that are not really, you know, the ones that are not really like iconic, iconic. You're, you're basically going guys a step down. Yeah. Whereas the MCU, they started off with Vulture and Mysterio. Yeah. And I think those are good starting villains. And yeah, okay. So why didn't Spider Man Four happen? Well, well, that's why, Bill. Okay, the release it was supposed to be released in May 2011, but yeah. then after failing to crack the story on multiple occasions, Sam Raimi then dropped out. Oh, makes sense. The last thing he wanted to do was rush something that. Yeah, I don't think he was liking the film where it was going. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't he say so. He did not like where it was going. Um, he did not like where it was going, and he was not put in a position where he could be. And also, he was working on a lot of other projects. And then the studio needed to be actively in production on a news. So. So. Because, okay, I'm just gathering the info here. Couldn't come up with some, he couldn't really come because he had until the release date was going to be May 2011 and he couldn't come up with something he liked. And, but there was a clicking time element because also around this one, Sony, I'm guessing their contract with the rights. Remember, kids, always remember your, always know the film rights. Oh, yeah. Like, under the terms of agreement that sold the Spider Man rights to Sony, they needed to be actively in production on a new Spider Man film every handful of years. 
And since basically Sam Raimi was basically having to direct a form of writer's block, he, they, they basically told you, dude, we're going to keep this going with, with or without you. And, and, and also, and also there was also a click in time. Part of the, the deal with the rights was that if they did, if Sony did not produce a new film, they would either have, they would pro- most likely lose the rights. Sony, huh. story, when Spider Man 4 fell apart, Sony based their choices where they either had to do a reboot, which was, of course, the. The Amazing Spider Man films, the two of them. Of course, the Amazing Spider Man films, or they would lose the rights. So right. you know, that's why Spider Man 4 didn't happen. You know what? Speaking of Amazing Spider Man, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to look this. I'm going to see why Amazing Spider Man 3 didn't happen. Can I can I chime in on that too? While we're on Spider Man, perfect. The Amazing Spider Man three is that correct? Yeah, yeah. It's going um, to be released in twenty eighteen. Yeah, because the way that they had it going was now, now we're shifting gears, guys. Uh, from Spider Man with just Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield, the Amazing Spider Man one came out in two thousand twelve. The Amazing Spider Man two was two thousand fourteen. And then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they were going to do 2016 and 2018. They were going to release it, try release it every two years, uh, release an amazing Spider Man film then. And they were going to do a solo Venom movie, which later got reworked to the Venom film we have. And they, and they were going to do a Sinister six. six movie, if I'm not mistaken. So that, that just sounds amazing. But Amazing Spider Man 2 was not that great. Yeah, I'm trying to. Fine, what happened? I had like a Marvel Films wiki, but there's one problem. It's in German. Oh, it's all right, Bill. Okay, okay. I, 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 I found can... something. I found something. Okay, what do you got? For Amazing Spider Man 3, what do you got? Okay, it was actually supposed to come out in May 2018. Oh, it was not 2016. Oh, June okay. 2018. Sorry. No, it was, but it, was, it wasn't 2016. Oh, I must have been mistaken. It was supposed to come out. Um, This is from Amazing Spider Man wiki. Um. Oh. Peter Parker was supposed to return and and Mary Jane Watson was supposed to be played by Shane Shaylin Woodley. Yeah, she's great. Shaylin Woodley. Yeah, you know who she's actually engaged to now? Who? Aaron Rodgers. Oh, God, really? The quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. That's so cool. Yeah, um... But everything changes when Felicity Jones, Black Cat, because if you if you saw Amazing Spider-Man two, Harry's like assistant is named is named is named Felicia Hardy. And I remember yeah. when I saw it with Justin, Justin's like, "Ooh, that's Black Cat." Yeah, yeah, I remember that. A ruthless madman, and Green Goblin. Dane DeHaan was coming back as Green Goblin. And oh, they were oh, Angelina Jolie was going to be confirmed, was confirmed to be in this movie, but huh. And they were actually going to do a Spider-Woman. Hmm. And also, yeah, the, the whole the Amazing Spider-Man film series in general, like they were, oh, they I were think really I'm reading like a fan thing. I'm sorry, oh, folks. That's right, Bill. Okay, I, I, think I found so... something from canceled movies. So okay, because I, I, yeah, I, this I, one's I, in English. It's in English. Good, good. I remember some stuff too. If you want, I'll, I'll explain some stuff too. Okay, it was so, actually okay. Go on. No, I was going to say that the Amazing Spider-Man one and two, with the Amazing Spider-Man, that was actually I, I like that one personally. Um, but the Amazing Spider-Man Two uh, was it's it just did it did it didn't do his job as being a good movie. Instead, it set itself up. It said, instead, it was trying to set up so much it just lacked as being a good movie. Um, that's where I saw it as flaws personally. Now that being said, the Amazing Spider-Man Three was supposed to was supposed to be another continuation of that story. And the Amazing because they announced the Amazing Spider-Man Four. Do you remember this? No, I didn't hear this. 
they announced an amazing Spider-Man four as well. Like they were going to do like an amazing Spider-Man quadrilogy of four films. And then they also announced uh, amazing Spider-Man sinister six. They, they planned on doing a sinister six movie. Do you remember this? Oh yeah. They actually, I so, the Sony Spider-Man two when yeah, Sony announced that they were going to do a, a sinister six movie in the amazing Spider-Man universe. A villain movie. It was like an unheard thing. Spider-Man, you had the mysterious guy. Yeah, and like around, and he's talking to now Doctor Connors after he became Lizard, and he's like, "Leave Peter Parker alone." Yeah, and then he sees, and then he's like talking with um, Harry Osborn, going, "I'm putting together a team. I want your help." Yeah, and that like, ooh, Sinister Six. And then, and you know what's another reason that um that it got canceled? A few reason is the Sony hacks. Yep, that was a big thing too. The Sony hacks was a big thing, and here's something I'm going to give Andrew Garfield credit for too. Yeah, he actually admitted. He said, "You know what? I'm too old to play Spider Man now." He actually is, because like here's why. Even though Tom Hardy is a few years older than Peter Parker is in the film he can get away with playing a 16, 17 year old kid because Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire were like in their late twenties, early thirties when they were playing Spider-Man. Yeah. And another thing is, is, and that's what led to the reboot. And, and that killed the, whatchamacallit. The amazing Spider-Man. That killed the Amazing Spider-Man. So, yeah. yeah. So both Batman and Spider-Man got yeah crazy. Um, just to want to quick jump in the chat board for a sec. Thank you for all of you, all of you guys who were chatting with us. Uh, Sinister Six would have been good and bad at the same time. Here of time, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but I think that I think I, I think I do actually know what you mean by that. I think that good, good and bad meaning would have been a good premise to see all six villains on screen, but I think it may have been, it may have been a bad film because there may be too many cooks in the kitchen kind of thing. Who knows? Uh, another thing I just want to point out as well. Uh, he said that there was a rumor that Mr. Dickovich in the original Spider-Man films was a retired Craven the Hunter and it was in, in early drafts of one of the scripts. That was a rumor that he confirmed with us, which is crazy. That Mr. Dickovich in the original Spider-Man films was a retired Craven the Hunter for the Sam Raimi films. What do you think about that, Bill? Before we go, what were you saying? Want anything else? Um, can you repeat that, please? Yeah. So you remember the character, Mr. Dickovich, or Peter Parker, is Tobey Maguire, Peter Parker, uh, his like like building owner who like he has to pay rent to. Yeah. There was a rumor in that in one of the earlier drafts of the scripts. And this is what I'm reading, that he was a retired Craven the Hunter. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I, I mean, that one is I mean, in one of the scripts. I mean, that's just what, I, what Hero of Time is telling us. Thank you again for filling us in on that. Um, I mean, overall, though, like, oh, and also he says, I heard that the Sinister Six movie would have been, would have been, would have been taking place in the Savage Land with Craven Hunter. That sounds pretty good. I, I could get behind that. Um, now, will they still do a Sinister Six movie? I have no idea. I mean, they announced it. They didn't have any dates for it, though. Because they were trying to build up like a Spider-Man universe of just Spider-Man and villains because Venom and they were going to do a Spider-Woman movie at one point. I know that uh, that got canned, I think. So there's all these projects that were going to try and do a Spider-Verse, really, without like not not like into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse, but like a live action Spider-Man universe with like Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man just floating around with like, uh, you know, say Spider-Woman a black cat movie. You know, they were trying to do stuff like that for a while and they just all got derailed once Marvel joined the team. So uh, 